This is Song 66, Mizmor Samach Mvav. It says like this, David, our king, composed this psalm in the twilight of his career when God released him from the threat of the many hostile nations which surrounded him, like today that we find ourselves in the same position. Relieved of his, of his concerns about the present, David was free to dream of the messianic future. The psalmist first turns to Israel's glorious past, replete with wonders and miracles. The salvation of days gone by inspires the faith that such events are destined to be repeated on an even grander scale in the future. When God grants Israel its ultimate redemption, that's according to Meiri. Meiri also suggests that the original version of this psalm was composed at the time of the exodus from Egypt. It foretells the splendor of the temple, which was destined to be built by Solomon later. Later, David adopted this work to this, adapted this work to the circumstances of his and future generations. So I'm going to skip down, and it says, In light of this, we can understand why the Vilna go. Let me see if I can get this on the page. Here we go. So in my Sarab 194, designates this as a song of the day for the sixth day of Passover. These verses serve as a most appropriate introduction to the climatic redemption at the sea, which occurred on the seventh day of Passover. Let me see if we get a little light on this. There we go. It's better for me. For the conductor, this is the song. A song with musical accompaniment. Exult to God all the earth. Sing to the glory of his name. Make the glory his, his fitting praise. Say unto God, how awesome are your works. Because of your abundant power, your enemies acknowledge their lies to you. All the earth will bow to you, and they will sing to you. They will sing to your name, Selah. Go and see the works of God, awesome indeed toward mankind. He changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. They were rejoiced in him. He rules the word world with his might. His eyes oversee the nation. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves self. Bless our God, O nations. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He who set our soul in life and did not allow our foot to falter. For you examined us, O God. You refined us as if refining silver. You installed us in the cage. You placed constant constraint upon our loins. You mounted a mortal over our heads. We entered fire and water. And you withdrew us to abundance. I shall enter your house with burnt offerings. I shall pray you my vows. which my lips uttered and my mouth spoke in my distress. Burnt offerings of fat animals I shall offer up to you. With the burning of rams, I will, pre I will prepare bulls with goats, sell them. Go and hearken all you who fear God. And I will relate what he did for my soul. Unto him with my soul I called, and he was extolled by my tongue. If I perceived iniquity in my heart, my Lord would not have listened. In truth, God has heard. He has hearkened to the sound of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not withdrawn my prayer or his loving kindness from me. That is Psalm 66, the song of our King.